What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Quick Folders. Now what this tweak does is allow you to use gestures on your folders in order to manipulate the folder itself or the apps within that folder. So before we actually get into the meat and potatoes of this tweak and show you how it works, let's jump into the settings here and I'll show you what you have to customize with. Right up here at the top we have a toggle that says wait for animation. If you read right below that it says disabling this means you won't have to wait for the open folder animation to be finished in order to launch the icons inside. Now it says although faster and more convenient this can cause some visual or other glitches so you can use it at your own risk. So rather than actually toggling this off and having to deal with glitches and things like that we're just going to leave it toggled on. So right down here we also have our gestures. So if we tap on that this is where you're going to set up your gestures in order to uh, do whatever action that you want. So swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, right, double tap, single tap. You can assign all these to a particular action and these are all the actions right here. So if we tap on one you can see these are all the actions that we have available. So open up the first icon, second icon, last icon, directly into wiggle mode, open the folder or open nested folder. Now keep in mind that I've had no luck whatsoever with opening the nested folder and I've had some issues uh, opening up the second icon using the swipe to left gesture. So let's go back to our gestures here and you can see that I have these set up and a single tap should open up the nested folder and a swipe left should open the second icon. So we'll see if those actually work. I haven't worked for me just yet. So if we jump out of this and we swipe up, it should open up the Starbucks app. So we're going to swipe up and let's try that again and it opens up the Starbucks app. So that's been working pretty well. So if we swipe down, it should open up the last icon or the last app, which is IMDB. So it does that as well. Swiping to the left, it should open up that second icon, but you can see that it's not doing a very good job of doing that. So we keep swiping left, still not opening up the second icon. Swiping to the left should open up just the folder itself. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that's working just fine. Now if we single tap, it should open up that nested folder. Now you'll notice that when I tap on it, it does try to open up that nested folder, but it just fades out and fades back in and it's not opening. But if you, you can see, if I open this up, I do have a nested folder right here. Now another way to use this tweak is just tapping and holding on the folder and then to quickly launch, you would just put your finger over the application and it's going to launch right there. So again, let's try that. We'll tap and hold and you can go to the next page. You can go back, you can go out, I mean, it's as simple as that. Now, also, if we jump into our settings, you'll notice that we have some timer delays right here. So you have the double tap delay, you have your launch delay, you have your close folder delay, as well as the scroll folder delay. So if you're having any issues or you don't think it's quick enough or it's too quick, then you can adjust these sliders however you'd like. Again, this is called quick folders and allows you to use gestures on your folders in order to quickly launch applications so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.